I guess I just have some questions about um, what route I should go about and when maybe I should start studying. Um, so I've already taken the LSAT. I took it um, this past in January. I'm still waiting on the results for that, but um, I know from my diagnostics test and um, the last course I was working with that I will want to retake another, and I'm going to, um, I plan on retaking it in October. I just, um, would be helpful to know, like, when should I start studying again? Um, I'm finishing up my last semester of, call of undergrad right now, so I graduate in May. Um, yeah, so pretty much we just went to get started. Well, I don't see any reason not to get started right now. I mean, we're just speaking right now towards the end of January, so you still have several months until then, but there's not really any downside to staying fresh on the LSAT and doing a bit each week or even each day over the next several months and then ramping it up as you get closer to your exam. Okay, um, so I was looking into some of your courses now when do you think I should start? Um, because I was planning on doing one of the courses where you pay month by month. When should I start? Maybe because I mean, I would think that's more intense studying, working towards the LSAT. When should I start with those? It is. And it's really whenever you have the time to devote to the resources. Because when you join the courses, you'll get access to the archives of all previous master classes and Q&As, as well as the foundational course lesson videos. So I wouldn't want you to join if you're not gonna have time to work through the material. But as soon as you have a break in your schedule where you've got some time to really devote to this, then you could join and start working through the material. Okay, um, I also did notice that you have some free um, items that I can start looking at now. Um, you do have like a retake schedule. Should I use that or should I um, use like a, a non-retaking study schedule? Have you ever used one of my study plans before? No. Then I would suggest using one of the regular ones because they'll help you build a strong foundation in each section of the exam. The retake schedule assumes that you already have a good foundation and just want to focus on certain weak areas. Okay. I'm just writing down some notes. Sure. All righty. Yeah, because um, I was thinking about implying, applying to law school for 2020 cycle, but I have now come to the conclusion that I'm probably a little bit too late in the game because of rolling admissions. Um, so yeah, I plan on taking in October. Now, how long do I have to do the writing portion of the LSAT since I just took it in Jan or this month? You have up to one year after your test administration to complete the writing sample online. Okay. So you've got plenty of time. There's no rush on it, but also I wouldn't leave it too long. Okay. And I agree with you that it's better to apply at the beginning of next cycle than this late in the game. January is really the latest date I would recommend applying and submitting your applications. But October will still, taking the October LSAT will still allow you to apply relatively early in the next cycle. Okay. And if you'll have a lot of time over the summer, you could consider taking the August LSAT instead, which would allow you to apply to the very beginning of the cycle. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Since um, you said you're in, you're in school now, you said you'll, you, you're in school now, you'll have time over the summer to study? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, then August could be good for you. Okay, yes, I will. And then also, um, do you know when the schools will put out like the class profiles? Um, that would be helpful to me going in to 2020? Because I know right now everything's geared for 20, I mean, for 2021 right now, everything's geared for 2020. That I'm actually not sure about. Okay. You um, could always contact them and ask them. Okay, now do you think their LSAT, like median scores um, of what they are genuinely accepting in, do you think those change much, much year by year or does it just depend on the class they accept in? They don't change too much. It's really marginal, tiny differences from year to year. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. Okay. Um, I just feel like right now, since I just took it, I just feel kind of um, just like in the gray area. Like I'm not, like I've, I've studied for three months crazy back to back for this test. Now I just took it. And now I just feel kind of like I'm in free area. What do I do with my time? 
So I, do you suggest I should start looking at the schedules that you have available? Yeah, I'd say that's a good first step because it'll give you a step-by-step plan for exactly what to do and what not to do every single day over the course of your prep. So whenever you're ready to dive in, you could get a schedule and start taking a look at the resources and you don't need to follow it day by day specifically. The schedule is more important for the level of specificity about what to do than the particular day by day breakdown. So if you're not going to study that much, but want to do just a little bit, you could start working through things in the order given. And then when you have the time and you want to devote more to it, then you could ramp it up. Okay. Um, now with your, with your classes that you um, offer that you pay month by month, how do those um, work? Because I've been in previous classes where I um, log on and I watch the instructor um, you know, teach through a lesson and we can type questions up and then they give us homework and then we come back and meet again. Um, is it you know, like one-on-one or are we working in a group? So the courses are a group setting, but the nice thing about them is that you get access not only to recordings of previous classes, but foundational video lessons starting from square one in each section of the exam and each question type as well. So you can, you can attend class live, but that's not the only part of the course itself. There's live classes that are webinar style. There's also live group coaching sessions where you're actually on video with me and other students talking through the issues. And then you also get the foundational videos as well on top of that. Oh, okay. Awesome. So a lot of material. And um, do you have a book that we would work through or, um, you know, cause at the last course I had, it, there was a book that we worked through. So I just. Well, wanted... what you'll get when you join is you'll actually get a special day by day study plan to use in conjunction with the course video lessons. Okay. Awesome. So it'll basically tell you, read this article, watch this video, then complete several practice problems of that type out of the actual official LSAT prep test. And I'll tell you which prep test problems to complete specifically. So there's no ambiguity at all ever about what to be doing. And that's your homework. Okay. That's really nice. I really like the day by day structures because, you know, we'd meet one day, one day out of the week, we'd have a couple assignments to do and the rest of the week it's, you know, do whatever you think is extra. And I don't, you know, really know what is extra. So right. awesome. All righty. Well, thank you for answering my questions. My pleasure. Before we sign off, what would you say is the biggest insight you got from our call today? Um, about the classes that I plan to um, sign up of yours in for the future. And just really um, it, insight about how where I've just taken the test and where I don't plan to take it again, you know, for a little while, but what to do during that gray space, because, you know, I don't want to lose some of the information that I've already learned. But then again, I know I need to be gaining. So you've helped to give me a game plan on what I need to what I need to um, do while I'm in school. But then in the summer, when I graduate and have more time, I know to um, what I'm coming into for your classes. So yeah awesome well please keep in touch and let me know if i can help in any way as you move forward and i'll look forward to seeing you in the class soon okay thank you so much thanks for tuning into the show please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as i release them and feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep i'm happy to help however i can in the meantime i wish you all the best and take care